Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can authenticate our APIs with the Centum. So API authentication simply means that how we can secure our APIs from the unauthorized person, right? So these are the steps of the video. First of all, we will install and configure the Centum. Then we need to do some migrations with the database and uh, uh, need to make a controller. After that, we will uh, check out some examples with the API and test our API that they are secure or not and how we can just check it with the postman. I will explain you everything. And at the last, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in the comment box also. One more thing before just going to start with this video. I'm just going to use this documentation for the Centum because this is my uh, official GitHub account. You can also check out the old steps and uh, take the reference for the uh, API authentication with the Centum. And uh, the one more reason is why I'm just going to uh, refer this documentation because I am sometime I will just copy and paste the code so that we can just save the time otherwise this video will take around 30 to 40 minutes and uh, if we will just directly uh, copy the code from here then we can just complete it within the uh, 10 to 12 min minutes around right so now let's get start first of all you need to just configure your database database my database name is here you can see that blog and uh, if you don't know how we can just configure our database then uh, let's close this file then you need to go inside the .env file here just you just need to provide the database name username and the password right and uh, after that we can just install install our uh, uh, centum package so just simply write here composer require laravel centum and hit it right and uh, it will just take a some time to install so that I'm just going to post this video for a moment I actually want to uh, every video as much as shorten so that uh, you can save and I can save the my time also and you just get the more knowledge in the very quick time so Centum is installed now so now let's uh, just uh, publish the Centum configuration and migration file and after that we will run the migration right so just copy this and run it right so now you will find that it actually just generated some configuration here and migration also right here you can see this is the migration for it so now let's again what we need to do just uh, run the php artisan migrate and it will uh, just migrate some table to laravel to the database here if you just want to check that then you can check that for a moment let's say we have only three tables in the database and now we have around around how much tables we have eight tables we have right right so now let's go for the next one so now we have to just import a, a centum middleware inside the middleware right so this is a very long name for her uh, centum middleware which is ensure front end request are stateful right so just copy it and uh, now let's uh, go inside the http then middleware and then here right and let's uh, put it here like this and now let's uh, just use this class uh, ensure front end request are stateful uh, basically class and uh, just use it inside the routed middleware which is a routed middleware here you can see that and let's let's add it here you can add it in the last also and i'm just going to light it, uh, uh, add the new things only on the top so that uh, i can just see that very, see them very clearly so you can even if you want then you can add it uh, add it the last also okay so now let's go to the user model this model is actually uh, generated by default with the laravel so let's uh, take it out where it is inside the app then models then here it is so if you just deleted it the by default uh, by chance then you can just uh, uh, create it with the php artisan make 
model and model name let's say user right so you can just generate it again with that command and now we have to just import the hash api token and uh, let's paste it and use it uh, inside our model like this all right so now we need to create a seeder so that we can uh, enter some fake data in our uh, users table so if you just want to check it you can see that here our table is blank for a moment but let's uh, just create the first uh, the seeder here you can see that seeder is created inside the database seeders and user seeders right so now we want to just enter some dummy data inside it yes now maybe you have a question that why we are not actually entering the uh, directly the user data why we are actually using the seeding because this is an example and actually seeding and all these things are actually taking time the reason is because when we are just entering the data inside this table the data should be uh, the password should be hashed like this right so we cannot enter directly this data so just import the db and hash uh, libraries or classes on a top then just use this uh, script inside the run function right and now let's uh, run this db seeder and uh, here you can see that this is uh, successfully entered and uh, we can check if we want now you can see that this password is actually hashed right so this is the join john dio and uh, if you just want to add the another user then you can use like this and uh, i'm just going to add one more user like anil sidhu and my password is very small like one two three four five right and uh, just again see it again and uh, now we must have two entries perfect so now we have only last two or three steps so let's create a controller here clear the command line and just write here php artisan make controller and controller name so let's say my controller name is user controller and hit the enter so now we have a uh, controller and in this controller we will uh, write our login code right so just uh, go inside the uh, uh, refresh it http controllers and here we have our model so i will explain you everything don't worry uh, first of all we need to import the user model and uh, hashed library keep in mind if you are using the laravel 8 then you have to use the app model models actually right uh, let me correct the spelling models user because in the laravel 8 they provided the laravel folder for the models right and uh, now let's uh, copy this index function you can put the any other name like login or uh, sign in function whatever you want and what actually happened here first of all we will just check that uh, the email that we will just get from the postman or from the front end this is exist or not if this is exist in the database then uh, uh, it will just uh, provide the token to us uh, in the here and data inside the users like this and if we don't have this data then it will provide that the credentials does not match right and if we have data then this code will be run here all right and th this is the response uh, e and this is the response code you can just make it 201 202 whatever you want right all right so this is the result when we are actually just uh, trying to sign up our uh, sign in our user so now let's make a route for it um okay so if you just want to copy this route you can copy from here but uh, okay so let's copy that again and just go to the routers api.php and you can just simply paste it here right 
but uh, we have to just import the user model also so just right here use okay again we can make copy and paste to save the time and uh, just use here user right so now let's try to log in so just go to the postman and select the post request and login uh, this is our base url then api path and then login and in the body we can select the row json format and let's just uh, provide the email and i just want to log in with my email like anil at the rate siddhu.com right if you want to cross check them then you can just check inside the cedar and let the rate siddhu and password is 1234 and uh, just simply use here password mm, one two three four five hit it and what we got you can see that we got the result as well as token and this everything is coming uh, as we are just uh, making this format user and token we have the two keys and here you can see that user and token in the user we have the user information id username and all and uh, token is here right okay fine now what i'm just going to do first of all let's uh, try to use any api so i'm just going to use um, a resource apis which we created in the last video if you don't if you did not watch this video the link is given in the description box right so just go for uh, member api and you can see that we are able to get the data but now i just want to uh, use this api inside the secure mode then what i can do then you can just uh, use this uh, our auth centum uh, middleware and just uh, you can make it uh, comment if you want then if you want to leave it then that's okay and let's just make it secure cut from the hair and paste directly here now what you will get that you will get the 500 response here and it will just ask some uh, like login is not defined and all right so now what you need to do you just need to do uh, just send this token to our uh, apis right so just copy this token from here go to our apis go to the headers just use here authorization and uh, just simply put here bearer and put this token right keep in mind that uh, if you just misspell this beer or this token then it will not going to work right now you can see that this is working fine because we send the token to him so again you can just got this all apis to here to in the secure mode right and one more thing keep in mind you never need to put your login and sign up api inside the secure mode so just keep it outside this from this middleware right so now let's try one more api so let's say i just want to test the search api here right so just select the get and localhost login okay my bad search and i want to search my laptop and this is actually coming from the mm, devices table if you want to check then we have the two result for the laptop right so first of all i'm just going to try to catch it then it will give to the error to me because i did not pass the token so let's copy this token and now select the authorization and uh, pass it here this token now this is working fine so let's try to search something else like uh, m and m is present inside the computer and mobile so we got the two result mobile working fine and if you are something searching something wrong then no data so this is also again working fine so this is the way that how we can use the centum for api authentication if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box 
this link is given in the description box and if you find any kind of issue then you can raise the issue here or you can ask me in the comment box i will definitely answer you regarding this question right so uh now it's turn to my question my question is there is a lots of libraries for uh, api authentication like jwt passport and uh, another one is uh, uh, sentum that we are actually using so what is the difference in all of them and uh, why we should use the jwt or passport or sentum you can comment you can attempt this question in the comment but if you don't want then please at least read about it because in the many interviews this question is asked even i asked this question to the many guys right so bye bye take care